everybody. It's me, Rochelle, Legacy Home and Garden. I'm in the kitchen. Um, and what I'm doing is I harvested a variety of different tomatoes. Some Abe Lincolns. I harvested some Rutgers. I harvested some um, bell pepper, some jalapeno peppers, another kind of pepper I can't pronounce, long skinny yellow pepper, not a banana pepper, but a different one. And then also the other tomato was... Um, German, a Russian, ugh. I want to say it was like a Russian something tomato. I can't remember. Sorry, I can't remember the name of it. But I harvested those, slight washed them, de-seeded them, dehydrated them, put them in my magic bullet along with some organic garlic, some organic onion, black pepper, a little salt, some parsley, um, and I'm putting them in my bullet here, and I'm making a powder, okay? And I've just about got it done. Um, I just about got it done, but I wanted to, I wish we had smell-o-vision, because the aroma is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. It is so, look at this powder that I've just made. Look at that. You see that? And it smells so great. Now, my husband likes heat. And I like only a little heat. So, I dehydrated my jalapenos, look. And so, I put one piece of the jalapeno in my powder. Now, what I've got here is a great powder spice that I can use when I'm making soups, sauces, um, chilies, anything like that. This makes a great thickening agent, but also seasoning. So I basically made my own seasoning. Also, if I wanna do like a tomato soup from some of those tomatoes in my garden, I can use a little bit of this flavoring in it also. This is so amazing. So I wanted to just show you, um, this powder. Now, look at this, I'll just use my hands. Look at that. It's just unbelievable. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this powder and I'm gonna put it here in my jar, okay? And uh, just gonna run it through the funnel just so that I don't get it all over my counter. Trying to make it not messy now. I know you can't really see too much of this, but I'll try to, see how it's running right out the bottom there? See that? Okay, and then I've got just a little bit more here. I'm gonna go ahead and run that through. Oh yeah, look what I've gotten out of that. It's amazing, amazing. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this lid open for a little while before I cap this up. Because I was running it through here, um, my bullet, and it gets warm when you're doing that. So I don't wanna close this up right away, like immediately and capture that moisture in there. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it open just for a couple minutes, just, just a little tiny bit. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and close this up, mark it, um, put a little piece of uh, tape on here and go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and seal that up now because I can feel it's nice and cool to the touch on the jar. And um, put this in my cabinet over here with my other seasonings. Now, if I notice if for any reason that it feels like it's clumping or moist, I've got some of the little, um, I know I'm not gonna say this word right, um, the little, you know what I'm talking about that you put in that absorbs the moisture? Oh, moisture absorbers. They've got a different name, but I I don't know what it is. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this out. I'm gonna check it in a little while, make sure it's not, that it's complete. I know it's completely dry from the dehydrator, but I just wanna make sure about moisture and stuff and clumping it up in here. And I'm thinking what I might do is just take a little bit of this because I've got these small little jars um, or even something like this. Let me show you. Something like this old um, salt shaker I've got with the salt. I may go ahead and um, 
dump this out into my bigger salt shaker, put some saran wrap or something across top, and then go ahead and put this back on it and hit, give these to my girls so that they can use them for seasonings also. But that's what I'm doing right now today in my kitchen. It's organic um, garlic. On, well, I should say everything's organic because I grew it in my garden except the pepper and the salt, of course. Um, and I dehydrated it and made powder out of it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip outside and see what my husband's doing. I'm going to take you with me um, because we have a barbecue pit. It is brick, a big brick built into our, our barbecue area where you grill. One side of it is for, you could put, you could use it like a regular grill with charcoal. The big part of it has a grate in it and it's, it's huge. If you're going to have a massive barbecue, you could put a hog on it. We've lived here 15, 16 years. We have never, ever used it. So we've decided to tear it out, put our smoker in there, and put our grill there. So it'll give us so much more room in what we've always called the barbecue pit area. So that's another project that we're working on. So I want to take you along and let's look and see what he's um, gotten done out there. So. Okay, it looks like he's already began the, the breaking down process. So here's what we've got. Right here, this heavy grate um, in there. Oh, don't mind the cobwebs. Where we can do charcoal here and actually grill on here. Here's our little tiny grill that we've been using just for him and I. But this whole barbecue area here is built in. It's surrounded by the screen. It's all screened in. And it's a great space for us outside however this depth of this what is that probably four feet or whatever is all wasted space we've never used this to barbecue on so we decided to take this out put our smoker in here and put our own grill in here and still have this area for uh, burgers or dogs if we want so he came out and decided he was going to start go ahead and breaking that out after 15 years uh -huh. so that's what we're doing How's it going, babe? Good. Good? Now, what he's doing now is he's carrying all these bricks because in the back of our property, we four-wheel back there. Oh, yeah, look at how green the pool is. We were gone for five days to Pennsylvania, and this happens when you don't tend to it. But he's pulled his tractor up here because what he's doing is he's loading up all these bricks from the fire pit and he is going to take those down to the back side of our property and we've got a little bit of a gully where the stream runs through and we have a little bit of washout so we're going to go ahead and fill up some of that area with these bricks and then we'll end up covering that over and making that road back there so we're recycling and reusing i guess is what you call it so and the other project we got going on we have been working on the base of our pool for several days taking up all this old dead paint and concrete. Um, and we've gotten to here. We still have this whole area. We still have to do, we have some water that settles here when it rains. So we're actually leveling that out and then we're gonna resurface the pool. But so those are a few projects. Sorry guys. Those are a few projects that we're working on right now. We can't be in the garden. So, uh, Glad that you came along to see what we were working on. I appreciate you checking on us and please leave me a comment. Stay tuned for what these items are gonna look like when we're done. Happy gardening, happy home uh, construction work if you happen to be doing any of that. Um, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for coming by. Rochelle, Legacy Home and Garden. Have a good day.